Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a marker speed paint and I drew Lux from League of Legends. I drew I drew her Star Guardian skin and it's kind of a reference to the Sailor Moon. If you follow that anime, it's kind of old, but I think they remade it. Sagi and it's really cute. It's got this magical girl vibe and it's very pink and purple as you'll see later and I had a lot of fun doing this. So as you can see with the skin, I'm just going over with a lot of light layers and then using just some desaturated brown for the really dark spots. It kind of looks a bit weird without the other parts now, but it'll start to make sense later. I like to do really high contrast coloring. There was a lot of sort of reflective textures in this piece and it was really fun to do. A lot of her like her headband earlier and some of the other cloth in her outfit is a bit reflective or satiny and we're gonna show you how to do that later. And with the hair, I wanted the bangs to have a lot more shine and then the back of her hair to be kind of muted just to add a sense of depth. I'm going in with the really light pink first and then the main pink which is the real color of her hair and then I'm shading with a mix of a dark pink and some violet. And here I did the gold part for her clip and some of the reflective parts of her hair clips and these are really fun to do. Now with these sort of reflective textures, it's really it's important to get the right amount of contrast and smoothness. So I recommend going back and forth with blending with your lighter color and just experimenting with the colors. See how they work. Like with here, I'm using a combination of a light pink and a light purple and the darker red violet. Just to kind of give more contrast. And here I'm using a light pink first as usual and then the same pink for the hair. Then I'm blending it out. And then I'm using a darker pink just to add the shadows. The top is actually a solid pink but I just wanted to do the extra shadows just to make it more visually interesting. Now these are some creative liberties that you as an artist can take because it can help the quality of your image. So even if the reference doesn't exactly look like that, it's okay. The same thing with the violet ribbon here. As you can see, I had a base color of a light violet and then I add some darker blue violets and then some pinks for the highlights so don't be afraid to get a bit creative with the color combinations like with what's the lighter color and the color used for shading because sometimes these can really make an image pop and then for the staff there was a lot of shiny metal textures and the gold here so you seeing a combination of yellows and browns and orange and for the reflective staff, it's important to leave a sharp highlight if you want to do sort of reflective textures. And same thing for the gold here. I'm starting off with a base yellow and then just adding a deeper yellow and then some orange and brown. I just blend it out. It just takes some patience and looking at the references to accurately render these kinds of textures. But the result is really worth it, so take the extra time to render carefully. And then for the ribbon here at the back, it's kind of a bit further back so it's going to be less contrasted and it's a bit translucent so I wanted to reflect that by using a lighter color. I'm just going back to the hair with the same lighter pink and then the base pink and then some purple for shading. Nothing too extreme because a lot of the hair that was left was at the back and I didn't really want to push it forward.
and then just making the crisp reflective texture of the wings. Adding a bit of finishing touches and highlights to Lux herself. And then starting off with the background and it was actually a bit difficult to do because the background areas were big but thankfully the image was cut off in a lot of chunks because of the way the line art is done. So this is one tip is that if you're doing large backgrounds, find see look, see if there's a way that you could color them so that it's a bit segmented. That way it's easier for you to get a smoother color laid down than if you just did it all at once without a strategy. And yeah, don't be afraid to get creative with the background. Use some purple and then blue violet and even some redder violets. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this speed paint and if you enjoyed it, show some love to the thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel because I do weekly uploads, I do speed paints, and I do some product reviews. So yeah, that's it for this week. So thanks for watching!